Hey guys, come on in. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, today we are gonna show you around a two bedroom, well two and a half bedroom, because there is like a study room as well, um, apartment in Kingston upon Thames. So we're on the west side of London, if you're not familiar with Kingston upon Thames. So this property is actually on the market for 1.25 million. Um, so obviously house prices down in London are a lot higher than the rest of the UK. So we thought we'd show you what you can get for your money. So let's start off in the kitchen. Matt's behind the camera on this video. Hey guys, yeah, so we're gonna be looking in the kitchen and the open plan space first. So we've got a west facing balcony to the back of the room and this is the main living, dining and kitchen area of the apartment. It's a pretty good um, size. We'll put the floor plan up on the screen so you can see. Coming through, starting through into the kitchen, we've got the fridge through here, um, freezer below. I'm holding the mic by the way because I've decided to wear this orange yeah. outfit that I can't really clip it onto anywhere. It's better than it having it sticking out yeah, the side so. of your bum. <laughs> okay, and then the microwave is actually hidden. That's a cool cupboard, isn't it? In here, yeah, that's, that's nice to hide it away. So you've got a Bosch microwave fitted in that. And then oven below. This oven is a Siemens oven. Saying that right, I hope. <laughs> and we've got a wine fridge here too. Um, it's a pretty good sized kitchen, isn't it? For a two bed apartment. Got lots of cabinetry under the um, worktops and then an induction hob over here. Yeah, I think one of the best things about this kitchen is how big that um, yeah. L shape space is there. And it's got the breakfast bar fitted in there as well. Yeah, so we've got three seats um, over there and it's actually staged at the moment, so it looks extra nice. So behind you is the Siemens induction hob and then above it as well, haven't yes. seen, the, what's that brand again? Alika. Alika extractor fan, um, yeah. which looks nice. Again, a minimalistic rather than having a big square one. Yeah, we've seen one like this before where there's a remote control that goes up and down. Yeah, it was um, similar. But it's kind of cool, circular extractor fan. So what cupboard space have we got through here? So dishwasher under here, under sink cupboard for cleaning. Yeah. And then more cupboards. More storage. Oh, it's one of these round Yeah, you've got cupboards. one of those sliding doors and I think that one over on the right is one of them as Which well. One? On that side. This that little corner, no, the corner cupboard. No, this doesn't open. Oh, that doesn't open. <laughs> oh wait, we got another one. I thought it would be. This would be good for like spices yeah. or something. And then we've yeah. got sliding shelves. Not sliding, sliding, sliding. Doors, sorry, yeah. Yeah, cutlery, are these? We've got another little, yes, they've made good use of every yeah. space. That's why I wanted to show all of yeah. the little spaces because I think it, it gives you a good idea. Yeah. And then outside there, you've got a view onto um, some, some houses and some yeah. greenery out there. They're lower than you though, so yeah. nobody's straight looking into you. And then let's come around here. So we've got a four seater dining table at the moment, and then that's the door out to the balcony. And then coming through to the living space, I'm gonna show you these speakers first because there's actually three speakers built into the wall. This is sort of like a feature wall, so it comes out from the um, back wall. But yeah, it's a nice little feature wall. What do you think, Matt? Oh. Oh, why did it walk into the it light? Might light? Yeah, I like this. I like the speakers and everything built in. I mean, obviously they've got a picture frame at the moment, but that's the obvious place for the TV, and that's yeah. probably why they've put that there on the furnishing, because they don't yeah. have a TV there at the moment. But it's nice, it's laid out well. And then you've got yeah. three bar stools over there, haven't you? On the These breakfast bar area. Up here, yeah, so you've got eating space up here and there, and it's not cramped. It doesn't feel cramped at all. Some apartments we've been in, they kind of put as much in as possible, don't they, so. Right, let's head out to the balcony now. The balcony is actually bigger than I expected. So you might see it in some other people's apartments to yeah. the left of me, but uh, if I go all the way back. This is London, this is what most okay. apartment views are gonna be like. Yeah. But just having some outdoor space really is the minimum. Definitely. That you'd want. And you've got apartments to the left, but in front it's just trees. So, you know, it could be 
a lot more overlooked. And probably in the winter, not in the summer, you would have slight river views. Yeah, true. You can't really when, see it at the moment. Yeah, the when winter, there's no would. leaves. Yeah. Yeah, but again, you could have like a nice deck um, table and chairs, got decking on the floor and a glass balustrade. So yeah, it's really nice, I think. I mean, I would prefer an ocean view. Yeah, definitely for us, it's an ocean yeah. view, but it's always nice to see different properties in different areas and yeah. kind of see what you get for your money. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's head back in. Bedrooms, I'll just quickly show you the bathroom that's just next to the kitchen. Kind of feels like a hotel bathroom, like a luxury hotel. So we've got bath and overhead shower, and then just toilet and sink, really. We've got a cabinet here. I like the design of it. A lot of storage, actually, if you look at how many yeah it shelves. looks good quality as well like the shower that you've got fitted is a, yeah. you know proper standing yeah all these little bits that they've added in the owner makes it feel it's more luxury yeah it? more luxury and if you're looking around as a buyer definitely definitely helps i think and then that space on the left hand side be there oh yes yeah. so this is the laundry cupboard um, so we've got the Bosch washer and dryer. Um, that's my water bottle that I hid. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. It goes back all the way there. Yeah, you've got yeah, the water so. heater and the boiler and everything in there yeah. as well. Shove things in there that you want hidden. Okay, now that's um, obviously the living space. And now Matt is gonna show you the bedrooms. Okay, so let's look at the rest of this two bedroom or two and a half bedroom apartment. So heading down the hallway, you've got the open plan living area that we looked at over on the right of me. Um, so it's kind of like an L-shaped flow through the apartment. You've got this built-in cabinetry here with down lights all throughout, lots of different shelving spaces. And this is custom built in to the wall. So you've got all this storage space. You've got your intercom video monitor system here. So you can answer the phone and it will be a video call to the front entrance. So you can let people in and um, have access and keep it secure like that. Again, you've got some more shelving throughout this whole space, kind of some area where you can put art and you know features just to show off the space. So first off on the right, we have what's currently set up as a home office space, which is perfect for working at home, especially with more and more people that are gonna be working from home at the moment. Um, it could be a single bedroom if you didn't want it as an office space, but it has got some really nice cabinetry and this has all been custom designed and built in. So it'd be a shame not to have it as an office space, but loads and loads of storage. So you've got shelving all the way throughout here, like, Really nice, good quality shelving. Got hanging rails, mirror inside as well. And that's all built in custom for the, for the room. And then Thank over you. this side as well, yeah. Even more shelving space. Does that one open? Yeah, from that side. Got a huge cupboard, you could actually get into that cupboard. Oh yeah. So loads of storage space. Even if for nothing else, you've just got that extra storage. So you, you could have this as a dressing room. So you don't have to have any yes, you know stuff idea. in the other room is a good idea isn't it so then heading across we're going to go to the master bedroom next which is the one just behind me here so this is the master bedroom as you can see it's a reasonable size double bedroom for the property you've got a balcony on this side of me on the right so you've got two balconies in the apartment one in the living space and one in this bedroom space you've got balconies on both of the bedrooms so you've actually got these really cool blinds which you can open and close quite simply like that but they also i believe they slide so that if you do want to open up the balcony door you can just slide that open and open it up and step out there i don't actually have the key for this door but it's similar to the size of the balcony in the front it just has a view to the other side of the apartment complex so i'll just close that now 
So then, even though we've got all of that storage space in the third bedroom, we've also got a built-in wardrobe and cabinetry space built in here as well. So you've got hanging rails all throughout the bottom, one, two, and then all shelving at the top. And both of these doors slide shut as well. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, slide shut. And then so you've got your temperature control throughout the whole property here. So you've got hot and cold, and this can be controlled from the bedrooms and the living space as well. And then this is the ensuite for the master bedroom. So a very similar design to the um, main bathroom that Summer showed you earlier. But what do you think to this one? Yeah, so this one doesn't have the bath. So, no. But you've got, at least you've got a bath in the apartment if you're a bath person. Yeah, it's, nice. you've got, it's a good size, isn't it? Big standing shower. Yeah, the shower nice head's in the middle, in isn't it? So. Yeah, but then you've also got the other shower head there if you want that as well. It's all tiled throughout the whole of the bathroom. And then you've got yeah. covered space in here as well. Just cool. with bits and bobs. You can see me on the camera. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's the ensuite. Now let's head into the next bedroom. So this is the second bedroom, um, just a little bit smaller than the master bedroom, but still a comfortable double bedroom. You've got a bit of storage space this side as well. Again, it's built in, so sliding doors. You've got shelving throughout that side as well. And then on this side, yeah, some more shelving and there is actually a hanging rail in there as well. And there's a cupboard over there as yeah. well. Yeah. I think these pillars are quite a unique touch. Um, yeah. Obviously they, they you know, they're in a, a way of the room a little bit, but they do have a nice feature, I think. And then again, you've got the sliding blinds here, which open and close as you please. And then access to the same balcony from the master bedroom. So yeah, this is the two bed apartment um, in Kingston up on Thames. And yeah, what do you guys think of this property? Let us know below. If you're new to the channel, we're touring so many properties all throughout the UK and lots in London coming up as well. So if you wanna see more, make sure to like this video and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next tour. Drunk, I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Somewhere up in the clouds